Yes, yeah. I'm back in the morning ground. <laughs> Very special guest, best Scottish striker of all time, in my opinion, Stephen Fletcher. Best Scottish you... striker of all time. That's a big. Sorry, that's big a big. No, it's fine. <laughs> I wouldn't even argue with you about that. Would you put yourself in the same bra bracket? No, 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 not at all. He was class. Uh -huh. I was just a fucking. Don't be like that. Don't. All we both done was hit the ball. It's I lied. <laughs> you could move. I could move. <laughs> what would you say? Dalglish would be. Dalglish and Law would be like the, the top. Aye, the top aye, bracket. By far. And then what, you, Duncan Shearer. No, I'm nowhere near it. Duncan Shearer. <laughs> who, who else should be up there? Scottish strikers. Uh, Faddy, nah. Aye, Better Faddy, nah. Faddy. I played with Faddy, but he was near the end and. When we were at Sunday, they came, didn't he? Did he? I yeah? thought he was. Uh, he still was chopping the life out of everybody. Was he? Oh, I mean, trying to think uh, who else would be up there. Paul Dickoff. Hope was Paul Hawkins. Paul Dickoff. Uh, Super Lally. Who else? I'm trying, who else played with Scotland? Kenny Miller. Kenny, Better Kenny, Kenny Miller, nah. Me, Kenny. It my, my, I thought it was me, Kenny, Faddy. Aye. That Aye. was a good. Then a few for across the border. Uh -huh. like Chrissy Martin that was in those squads. Oh, big fat Chrissy Martin. Uh -huh. <laughs> he watches this Chrissy, what a boy he is. Uh, what's happening when you met you're retiring and you're going somewhere else? Ah, I'm a golf Instagram isn't it? That's me. That's all. <laughs> Wait, I what did. a life he's got in it. That's your dream life that he's I've, living with. I've, uh, I've seen him on, uh, I think it's TikTok, shaping shots and looking when at When he says shaping, shanking shots. Well, you can you can make your own shot, Trace. Have you seen so that? So he's uh, play a hole with uh, Stephen Fletcher. Oh, right. Still talking about golf? <laughs> Well, depends your whole Stephen Fletcher. Depends what you're doing there. Depends what you're after. He's a golfer. What are you playing off of? Six, do you say? Seven. Seven, I know, aye. Seven. I, I, don't, I don't put enough scores in to get down. Right. Do you know what I mean? I don't have no you know what I'm talking about. Aye. You, you need to keep putting, you put you need to keep putting your, your scores in. and you'll. But the new handicap system's a bit weird, isn't it? You can get up and down like a yo-yo. I know, I've went from 5.1 to... 12.4 so I mean, back down to 10. I went on a three day wee golf trip the other day. Right, who was? Went to boy Sammy Winnell. Striker, Sam eh? Striker, yeah, Sammy yeah, Winnell, yeah. right? And just two, two of my pals and um, played Tunbury the first day. I was playing a 7.5, my handicap was. Put a score in. It was my first score I put in for a while, put my score in the next day, I'm down to seven. Do you know what I mean? It just, oh, right, the so next day, it just changes where it never used to, did it? It's good, it's good because it reflects. It's got a form How thing. How you're now. playing Aye. in the current Aye. moment or whatever, but there's a few there's a few bandits. Have you played any big names? Mm. No, I played played in the Pro Am a couple of weeks ago, Scottish Pro Am. Did you? Scottish Open, I played with Griggsy. How did you get into that? Just it's all day. Uh, just rocked up? I just rocked up. No, and they emailed me asking if I wanted to play in it. I was like, of course I do, I played with Alex Norrin. You probably won't even know who no, Alex Norrin is. No, I don't know is. Alex Norrin. No, but he's a good he? player, aye. Right. Aye. And uh, the boy Grant Forrest. Scottish, Scottish boy, boy. aye. Really you good. qualified for the Open, did aye, well, aye. Didn't you? Really good, aye. So it was, I played with Rato, it was me, Griggsy, Big John Barkley, ex rugby player. Don't know him, nah. Griggsy likes his golf, didn't he? Aye, Griggsy. Is he any good? Griggsy started guy? well. I started horrific. I felt like I had somebody else's arms on to start with. And when the guy's <laughs> like, on the tee. Was that a hoist? Stephen Fletcher. I'm like, no. oh, Where did your ass go? Oh, aye. Because it's no my sport, is it? So I'm like, that. here we go, I'm on the first tee. You know what it's like, you have your wig on over How there. many are watching? Snap hook left, man. I'm like, uh. oh no. <laughs> right in the rough, everybody else was doing the middle. I'm like, oh no, it's going to be one of those days. <laughs> have I you had that kid in front of a crowd playing that? Nah. I, 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 like, see football. No, I don't have, I got nervous at football. But see golf and darts when I took up darts. Can't get nervous at darts, mate. Oh, listen, Sai. I used to get to loads of finals in the pub league, right? And I used to fucking like, get all nervous because in a, in a game of football, Aye, you don't think about it. You've got your teammates. Yeah, yeah it's just you up when there. When you're up there on your own, and then last year I qualified for the club championships, I got to the semi final, and I fucking met, I had three, I got, a, I, I had a great shot to the par three, six feet. Guys, no, got a par. Aye. Two putts to fucking go four up. And my arse fucking went <laughs> like downhill pot, greens are fast, and I'm fucking shaking the art. And I think, oh, fucking, I put it eight feet, I put it further away than I had to start with. <laughs> and three potted it and lost the hole. And I'm like, so what he says to me but before we teed off, one of the pros says, okay, first, only bit of advice I was like, go on, he says, don't go in the rough here. And I was like, all right, like, don't go in the rough. He's like, the Is that pros fucking fight. obvious though. No, because golf, and you're going to go in the rough, but right. this rough's ridiculous. He's like, the pros find it hard to go to this rough, so don't go in, so I'm like, right, in my head, don't go in the rough, don't go in the rough. Well, first tee off, snap out right in the rough. <laughs> and I'm thinking, right, come on, Fletch, people were all doing the side knot. My missus and Wayne's and all that were there. Oh, I can get a loser. My wee boys, my wee, my wee boys just looking at me like that. You're a murder. <laughs> and I'm like, no, that's a disappointment. <laughs> no, even my wife, I looked dead at one point, right? I put, I put a good drive, right? So, first hole and second hole, it was a, it was like best score, with the four A's, so, if say I was free or gone the new, 
say you've had a bad tee shot, me and him have hit one down the middle, you're kind of like irrelevant. Yeah, so you can yeah, kind yeah, of just uh, pick your ball up because, and you're encouraging us to, to come on. Yeah. First two holes, mate, I've got my ball in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> just walking down the fairway like, as if I was just in the point of me being there. Had, yeah. Got on the third tee, it was a par three because we started on the 10th. Oh, aye. So, got on the third tee. Was that the tee. one with the Renee's on? Aye, aye, aye. I was thinking. The par three, one. right? I've had a stinker the first two holes. So I'm like, oh no. Next minute's a par three is a grandstand behind the fucking green. <laughs> This is fucking full. People are all waiting for you, man. Oh, no. To be fair, I've stiffed one, stuck one close. Right. I was like, right, yeah, fuck. And then you're fighting. Breathe, do you know what I mean? Relax. So I've never felt like a foot of pitch before. That's mad, isn't it? Mental it's got man. golf, does that? Even like now, I still, like, if you play a two up Wednesday, I'm fucking like focused. And it, golf's very, yeah. very hard to concentrate for 18 holes. 100%. Have you ever had that playing dead in front of your kids or you're fucking hopeless? It's the worst two in the world. Aye. My kid came up to what I've told you before. My kid came up to watch me at Dundee. Couldn't have made it. Like, I, I was on the bench, but I'll get on so you'll see his play to it. Never got on, mate. And then I, I'm doing runs after the game. Look at me, my boy's starting to watch it. Run up to the bench. You, <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know when you go to the, you know when you go to the fairs and that in the shops and they've got the, the like inflatable targets with the holes in them. Uh, and then the kids say, Dad, go and shoot that in the hole for me and win the prize. Ball. And you're fucking shot straight. Uh, uh, Dad, no. you're hopeless. I thought you were a professional. No. <laughs> Even some like of the Broom Hill games last year, like see when we were getting the fourth goal went in and my wee boys are two ball boys behind the goal and they're just staring at you like, oh, fuck's <laughs> sake, man. <laughs> oh. It doesn't get anywhere. By the way, what a top. There's a, there's a right smell of arse off it, but what a job it is. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't even know what, I don't even know what season that was. I know. Has it got, has I, it got I, the thingy on it? No. The thing is, no, you know what I'm actually thinking? I've said this a few times. That still fits me. I'm fat as fuck in there. No danger right? does that so still how fit baggy, you. How baggy, no danger it does. does. No it danger. Does. <laughs> how, baggy, how baggy was it have been when I was thin? Number 34. 34, mate, so yeah. that would have been 2000 and... I tell you when that was, 2003, four. Hey, it's some place, isn't it? It's on the one. Oh, you both played there, there eh? Yeah. Tell you what, see when that place is full, mate. Oh, is it incredible? What a stadium, isn't it? I know. I, I remember, say it's a massive club, but obviously. What a stadium, though. Is it? Honestly, aye. Aye, because I remember when, I, when he when he signed, I used to, well, I still go down every season because my aye. oldest son lives there and we go and catch two or three games a season. And when you signed, I thought, you, you were class or something, to be fair. Aye, for the first six games? Aye, no, no, <laughs> you, no, you didn't. Nine million, million quid to him, mate. Nine million. Was it more than that? Was it more than that? Aye, it was about 12, aye. Wow. I think it was, aye. Pretty oh, gorgeous. Did you from it? I was a I was a product of the youth system. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, these fucking cyclists are ruining my life, man. Don't even stop. Ruining your life. And you were going to bring a top on, but you couldn't because he's. I can't get in my house. So you're what? No access to your house. I'm living in the in-laws, you know. Can't get in my house. Aye, the Can cyclists are ruining my life, and then. But if the mother-in-law's a cracker, then you're buzzing, it. <laughs> oh, what was I going to say? You've just moved. Well, you've bought the old SFA building. No, I bought it a long, long time ago. I'm renovating it because obviously I've been away. So I renovating it. It's got still a lot of the old stuff there. Isn't it? What what sort of stuff? Outside the house, got a, like the SFA badge, a mosaic. Is it? A few chip tiles in it, but I'll get that sorted. Gordon Smith's and, uh, uh, pants. That's, that's, that's staying. That's oh, staying, right? God. But see when you walk, see, see when you walk in the front door. There's a, a like an entrance hall, probably about the same size as this Astro Grass here, right? Right. And it's a, just a big salt tire. I Is it? Not, I'm not gonna lie, right? I'm, I loved playing for Scotland and that, but that needs to go. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody, somebody, the you know I mean? somebody messes me. <laughs> the delivery man's like, I'm at the door, he's like, look, what's going on in here? That's amazing, man. Somebody did, messes you, show and come and take that away. Did, uh, did, did you ever speak about Kevin, you were doing it, Sunderland? No. Ah, he's, he's, there must have been a couple of pictures down the wall in that, the academy. Oh, was I? There was a couple of sporty faced teenager pictures uh, in the academy wall. Oh, no. Down the academy bit, there's like, you know, the I wee, the wee ever corridor, it's all the pictures there. Yeah, I, 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 I was in one Scotland squad with you. Yeah, we were, I. Did that? we not go in the Scotland B squad? Remember that? Look at, hey. Should we have been in that together once? Oh, I didn't have money B games. You must have. Yeah, you 100% did. <laughs> what, what one? I'm sure there was like no. a random B squad that we got into. I think so. I remember one. Because you only done I, I a remember Scotland one, one. I remember or two one, times. and it was a really vivid one. I think Ross, Ross, Ross McCormick. McCormick. Yeah, yeah. You, me, playing cards in somebody's bedroom somewhere. Ah, it would have been I. Uh, yeah. Play with the big hitters. Don't play with the big hitters. No, no, no. Uh, it's got a few quid there to me. You know, you're, playing, you're playing. You know, you're going into your overdraft, ain't that right? <laughs> you're playing three card black, and they're going, aye, two on a blind, six on a blind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there going, I'll get a fucking three aces. I need to fold them. <laughs> <laughs> so did you play together on the pitch? No, no I don't no, 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 no. That was the, I think that was Scotland. That was the closest v, we got to playing with each other. Scotland v. Um, 
I think it might have been. I think that might have been a B squad. I'm sure it was. I am sure it was. Because I'm starting to think that that would have been at Kamarnik or I only get into called into a couple of squads under mm. Kamarnik, but we no played in the greatest Scotland you youth played. team of all time. We did, didn't we? That, that must be the best Scotland youth team of all time. Ever, eh? ever, ever. How good Aye. was it? Oh, amazing, mate. We used to watch like the kind of motivational videos before the, the games. The montages, they were brilliant. Just mate. a video of my goals. <laughs> Trying to get all the boys mate, up. My brother was in that squad. My brother was in that squad. We, we, we proper Big played Jamie. 10 at the back and Fletch up front himself, man, wasn't it? <laughs> Just get the ball up to Fletch, you'll do something. I remember my uh, my father in law, Stuart, says to me, because you know Jamie Adams, he said that all the youth team games used to watch, he was by far. Fletch was. Please tell me you remember the France game, the 1 1 game. Benzema and Nasrin Benzema played. scored uh -huh. and then I scored a free kick oh, you did that was the I still remember that was the qualify for the Euros uh, mate. Uh, it was uh -huh. I we put them out didn't we? that's right I, put I remember I asked Nasri uh, for his top after he just told me to do one did you? <laughs> 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 you, you, you don't Benzema was better than Nasri I remember it uh, he scored Benzema didn't he? Like Gary Kenner thought he did the Canadian <laughs> band dance didn't he? I remember <laughs> he was up against uh, Gary Kenner you team mate Fletch, Snoddy, Dorans Dorans we actually get him as a manager mate you'd look here and he'd be standing like that on the side of the pitch hands down his shorts incredible mate we Brian next to the fit is going to be his host in the row fantastic oh mate they were great times aren't they? brilliant uh, right, did you watch the Rangers game? I did. I didn't watch it all. Um, I didn't, right. uh, didn't have a bit of graft. But uh, oh, by all accounts, what I've seen, disappointing start to the season, but it's just the first game of the season. Um, no impressed with what I've seen, but you've got to give new players time to bed in. That's what I think. Um, I think that um, it was always going to be the case that one of the old firm was going to get jumped on at some point. I think early on the kickoff, Celtic got it because they didn't start the game particularly well. Mm. But later on, but we've talked about it in the fans forum. We felt Kamarnik signed some good players, so yeah, it was never going to be an easy game. It's a horrible place to go. Ah, yeah. But Rangers, Rangers didn't create enough clear cut chances to actually deserve to take in from the game. I think. No. Uh, did you find it tough there last year, Fletch? Uh, it was our first game last year. Was it? It was. Uh, it was. Obviously, for me, I'd not played on that. I'd not played on an artificial pitch before. Uh -huh. Like in a league game, do you know what I mean? None, uh -huh. Aye, so it was, uh, it was tough. And obviously, they're used to it. They train on it every day, do you know yeah. what I mean? But um, I, I agree. I thought Rangers recruited well in the summer, but it's got to take them time. Yeah, I've played with one of the boys. I played with Seema. Did you bit of He was. Uh, he came on loan to Stoke. See when he signed for Brighton, he yeah. came straight to Stoke on loan. He sent him straight to us. It took him. It took him a while there to get kind of going. Going, do you know what I mean? But once he did, good play. He never really played, he got injured. So he's honking then, uh huh? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he, he looks he's like a great lad. <laughs> One of them, he's a great lad. He's a great lad. <laughs> he looks like he's got something. I thought he was pretty He's rapid. Stood, he? uh, he's rapid. Is he just and an upgraded version of Sakala? I don't know. I was surprised when he made the subs, he never took him off. He took uh, Dessers off. He played, he played the full game, didn't he? I uh, he played the full game, mate. I just, I just, I just what, what, I, what I seen, I felt that I couldn't tell how Rangers were playing. I mean, that's what I still didn't see what their identity Aye, is. Well, well, like, like, even like the back, back end of last season, they don't play with wingers or they don't. It's as if it's like I'm not gonna lie. a lot of rotations in the midfield. Yeah. But Aye. with the players that they're putting in there, it doesn't work. Couldn't you play Cantwell? Wasn't the playing as well, mate? Oh, I, know. I said that. I didn't understand that. Strange. Unless man. it's the pitch. Maybe. That's all I can. That's yeah, all yeah, I was yeah, thinking yeah. about. I was on the golf course, so I missed the game. But where was Seema playing? Where did they play him? I think he was almost playing it. Was it up front now? Aye, it, Did they play him up for an out and out striker? Uh, yeah, with, with no, Dessers no, to aye. start, was it? Dessers and Seema and... I don't know, I, th I, th I thought he was alright. Just... Had he maybe... Like, a couple of ones he couldn't get out his feet to uh, get a shot away. Yeah, see, yeah. I think when they play Ibrox with the space and they've got the, yeah. the ball, more of the ball, you might see the better of him, but I think pff, that's not... But definitely enough there to, to see that he could cause yeah, Wallach away. Uh -huh. Have any ever played in a diamond? Oh, I oh. hated playing in a diamond, mate. <laughs> Honestly, see when you're one of the two side boys in a diamond, mate, it's a fucking great. It's a lot of work, answer. isn't it? You need know, to press the full back, mate, and it gets popped into your midfield, man. You don't like, need it. What's happened? Who's the last time anybody won any of diamond? It was the, the boy at uh, Luton. <laughs> this, the boy at Luton done with. Oh, so Nathan Jones? Yeah, Nathan Jones said Luton's gone. <laughs> so he did. He tried to go to Stoke and date, and the boys were like, ah, they hated it. Did, so did obviously I went there after he'd left, and that's all they spoke about was that diamond. But see, for you, mate, playing a diamond, they wingers, that's a nightmare for you, nah, no? Crosses in the box. It's not obviously going to benefit people like me and you, but the is thing it? Is, the thing is, even, even by playing on a diamond and having, say, a big striker or a wee striker, you still want width yeah. to open the game up a bit. Of course you do. Whereas I don't think Rangers... I, have they got the personnel to play with width? Or is it... Are they, are, I, I think they have, but... 
I don't know. It's just is he trying things now early on in the season? Do you think he could go down there and because obviously what type of try things though, is he? No, it's not. That's what I mean because I'm I'm looking at that thinking right. You've lost three points already. You've got Celtic coming up in about two weeks' time, three weeks' time. See you lose that, and see you maybe drop a point or two in between. Six or seven points. I, I hate to say this, right, but Celtic and Rangers, when they're on form, don't lose six or seven points. That's what costs them yeah. the league. Mm. So mm. you have to be very, very careful about what you're doing because you need to start winning games and winning games soon because... In three weeks' time, we could be sitting here talking, saying, well, Celtic are six points clear already. Well, look at Celtic at the weekend. It wasn't the best performance no. they've done. Do you know what I mean? They're still coming away 4-2. Four four two. Two. That's the thing. It's, it's all right to play bad and still get a result. That's what I mean. Rangers they're... didn't play particularly well and didn't they get the result. So that's, worry, that's right. more worrying than the Celtic situation. Mm. Well, Kilmarnock did prove a point. I, I, I think they're definitely going to be in the top six. Think so? Treated really well, mate, I think. Yeah. Uh, the back yeah, to be fair, you did see that about us last year. He's in fit, no, I never. I called <laughs> you early to go, didn't I? And you were in the Dark season. Harris's. Before the season. <laughs> did I? Did My I? take on Kilmarnock. I know, but I hadn't seen your goalie play, mate, that's why. They'll, <laughs> <laughs> they'll fight with Hibs for the top six. Do you think, eh? Uh, I can see St. Mirren being, being, I think they'll do well after yesterday. Your Celtic Rangers hearts. If St. Man get the player I think they're going to get, I think they're definitely for top six. I think so. I <laughs> think they need something like that. I think they need something like that. They've already got the two big ones up oh, there. He'd be perfect for them, mate. Uh, big Mikkel signed for them. Who did? Mandron. Am I right in saying that? Was that who that was? I don't know, mate. The boy for Mullow. Did he go to St. Mirren? Who's that? Who the boy was at Mullow last season? Mikkel Mandron. Oh, Mandron. I had no idea. Did he go to St. Mirren? Did he? I played with him as well. Good player. You've played with everybody, mate, haven't you? Aye, everybody. Aye. <laughs> everybody. Honestly, mate, there's so many players. Everybody. Look we'll back to Hibs. I know, that's, surely that's on the cards, mate. What a They've never, came, uh, never came knocking, mate, ever. Did they not? Even when you went to United? No, no. Don't get really. me wrong, I, th I like, I like Lafondra because he's obviously he's been yeah, scoring he's goals his whole, his whole career, there. but uh, surely a, a Fletcher Lafondra, big and little, little and large, well, could work for came. Hibs. But again, we always talk about look at Kilmarnock players in the lower leagues, Robbie Dees and Mayo playing the championship last year, went and stole that, that game. That, that, they were excellent I, I defensively. Think, I, think that, I think the way that type of game was, it suits the kind of guys. Everything straight in front of them. them yeah. Organised, defended very well, and the, the boys in the midfield, even the boy Armstrong. Was, a good the boy Armstrong that plays out wide that normally plays up front, uh -huh. I thought he was excellent. Um, I liked him. Is it Mayo the one that came from Rangers? Is it Mayo that came from Rangers? Mayo was at Rangers as a kid, yeah. yeah. Barrack Thistle on loan, yeah. yeah. Sitting there thinking, well, what, what was that kid doing at Rangers when surely at some point he must have got an opportunity or something somewhere, but... Nah, I, I, like I say, with Rangers is a big talking point, but you've got to get Derek McInnes and his command at the side. What a start. Yeah, definitely. Because even the Kelly fan at the podcast side wasn't he convinced that... No, he wasn't actually. Not he was at actually all. surprised that we tipped him to nah, be the Dark Horses, nah, isn't it? No, nah, because they'll, they'll do well, didn't they? Yeah, 100%. Del's good manager, isn't he? He is, isn't he? Yes. I always think he always does a good job, doesn't he? 100%. I really like Del's a manager, No, he does. But Rangers need to pick up straight away. They've got the European time Wednesday, which I think is a, a good time, because that's massive... And they're going to need to obviously to tough draw, isn't it? Yeah, it's a tough draw. How did you find playing Rangers last year? Good team. Aye, they just had. See, we were when we were playing them, we were in a bad way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So But they just had that little bit more quality than who was than good. We did. Who was good for them? Raskin. I thought he was one. That I was like Campbell. Well, I mean, I like the way. Can't, I like, like the way he like glides. Glides about. Aye, and he just he's always like giving goals, giving goals. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think it. I think he set up one of the goals at their place. They done a little one two. And it just on the edge of the box, man, a little bit of quality. Yeah, that we yeah, never yeah. really, we never really had. Uh -huh. so, like, they were good, man, really good. I like uh, Lundstrom, man. He just keeps things. Do you like Lundstrom? Uh, just runs out. Play against him, doing so. Sheffield United players, wouldn't he? Uh -huh. I like Because the jury's out with Rangers fans and Lundstrom just now, isn't there? See a lot of yeah, good. So yeah. Sometimes I think when you, when you've got something, you always want something else. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what they've got with him. I think when if he left, they were kind of like, oh, he was actually better than what we thought. He's, he's in one of the positions that. It doesn't get appreciated too Aye. much by fans because Aye. what what a, he'll come off the park most games and his teammates will appreciate the role he's done. Like 100%. you say, nothing complicated, but keeping the ball moving all the time and being that guy that's sitting in front of the back four. But whereas when you're losing to command at one nil, point fingers need to be pointed and he'll be. Exactly. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Well, he's doing the role that the managers asked him to do. Exactly. He's just no attacking and breaking lines and spreading balls through gaps. But some of the criticism that they didn't need Lundstrom and Raskin as two defensive minded midfield players about a command like, would you go along with that? But Lundstrom still gets fought. I think he had a couple of shots on goal yesterday, didn't he? He scores goals, goals, goals from, goals from midfield, well, yeah. he does. Yeah. He's got a good, he's got a good uh, strike on him. Ah, you're probably right. I wait, I wait to come on like, and you've got two settles. It's no, yeah. but probably the fans want to see. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Obviously, yeah. that was the way the manager set up. So 
It's got to have been the pitch we can't be on it. There would be another reason he was Rangers' best player toward the end of, the, oh, towards yeah. the end of it, last it, season. It is a strange one, but I don't know Cantwell's injury history whether he's had any bad knee things or whatever. But no, I'm not too sure either. That was only that's what that was my first thought in my head when he never started. I thought that must have been the pitch. pitch. But, and I mean, a lovely head of hair and talking to that. What about that thing, mate? Listen, he was bold at 17, mate. Look at I've mate. seen it, mate. I've seen the pictures of him playing for Hibs and that when the rain's pissing down and. You only see the strands. Your hair used to look like the goldmouth at Albion Albi Novas, didn't it? tracing paper, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> that's a built of that one. That's How many have you had? So I've had two like proper reconstructions. You know I mean, I had the back, I had the front done first, and then I had the back done. Then I had a wee top up. You know, when your, your you credit runs low on your phone, you got a wee top up, killed. So I'd be top up. <laughs> what about Faddy? Hey, you're Faddy gorgeous, man. Faddy done? You're like a movie star. Where's Faddy done? Faddy, Faddy must have had his done. He must have had another one, eh? That's yeah, yeah he must have had another oh, one again. That's why he no one's on the phone, isn't he? Because he looked too hard. He's sitting there like going. Did you see him on Twitter with Andy? With his hair? Who looks like the boy for Step Brothers? Boy for Step Brothers. Has Andy had it done or that? Andy's he got it done. Did get it done, eh? Every hair You should go and get it done. See, if you need it, go and get it done. What else have you had done? That's it. Oh, I get um, a bit of composite bonding done a wee yeah. while ago, aye? You're looking alright, aye? You're looking alright, aye? You're looking alright, aye? You're looking alright, aye? You're looking good, aye? aye, aye. You've got better looking as you've got older, aren't you? What a fine wine. Uh -huh, a fine aye, wine, a fine aye. wine, aye. Diff and different boys. Just a lot, but I can't really do it with these now, except for that. Get them pinned back, mate. No, aye. I don't want any. No. no. Defining feature, like, you suit it, mate. Alright, right, did you watch Shelly Kev? Aye. With the giant. We were, we were travelling up to East Bride, so first 20 minutes, no great? No, slow just, just a slow start. But ultimately, once they got the ball and actually retained possession of the ball and people started moving and started slick passing, creating stuff, a bit f fortunate to get the penalty the way they got it because obviously that could have went either way. It's just a, a slight late tackle. But that goal then gives them to believe, right, let's go on and get the result. Tumble. A guy that looked like possibly on his way under Ange. Mm. Might be. This system suits Turnbull better, uh, so doesn't it? Mere playing an actual him. ten than a two side uh, of the He's a good footballer, yeah. Turnbull. He he's got a great really range of passing and, 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 and it keeps things moving. He's obviously good at shooting for long distance. That's a threat as well. But still, right. still, it looked okay. But you could see glimpses of the old Celtic of last season by popping it about and cutting teams over. A couple of the goals that Brendan Rodgers obviously said in the, the thing couple after goals, it, he said couple that. Couple of goals, uh, <laughs> they were. Uh, they were easily avoidable and they probably were, but when you don't play particularly well at your best and you still win 4-2, possibly could have been 5 or 6, you take that, it's open day of the season. Yeah. Surprised that Hattie wasn't playing as well for it during the bench, how did you find that? Everybody was, aye, <coughs> he's a great player, great Good, player. I don't know if it's something, if he's, is he, li he's link is he linked to him? He doesn't look like that? he's completely happy at Hattie, does no, he? I've seen that at the end of last season a wee bit, yeah. do you know what I mean, but I don't know, but he's a I great think, player. I great think great history player, will show you with, with Rodgers, if, if somebody's not happy, he lets him go. Let him go. Yeah, yeah, he does, he does. Look, look at Starfield, aye. he's away with Jacinda. Uh, is that why he's went, is <laughs> that? Aye, she's moved to You would be moving for, she's went to Portugal, I think he's looking for a move to Portugal. Quite right mate. Again, on that side, who impressed you when you played Celtic last year? Uh, aye, obviously, the standout ones, Hattie and Kyogo. Kyogo's movements are unbelievable, by the way. Unbelievable. You've seen it again for the first goal. Yep. He stands offside. He yes. does it all the time. I think that was kind of, he must have been told to do that. Stay offside, don't get involved in the game. I like the way he set up the. the and he know, dropped in, tumble, in and he dropped in and, and spun it. It was brilliant. Because you know, you've seen much of him. No, he wouldn't have done that under Andrew, would he? No. no. But I think with Brendan coming in, I think he'll want him to kind of link. Blank that was the thing I more. noticed in the game in the first half. Kyogo was coming way deep sometimes. Right, him, just like to get involved. Just to get a touch of the ball, get it knocking about. And it looks like Ben Rodgers probably said that. If you're not getting a touch, come deeper and right. we'll let somebody else go into that we'll space. space and then obviously, like the goal, if you're Ross County's point of view, it's a long ball, it's a heady clearance by Ralston. And then Ross County get attracted to the ball, desperate to go and win it. Right. And you could just have dropped. Yeah. Let Tumble win that header and pick up the second ball, mm -hmm. where he's come too tight. Tumble's put it in. But see, as soon as that's been passed from, um, who was it? Uh, it headed into, uh, was it Mader? I can't remember who it was that crossed it in for Kyogo. I had that feeling of just like, he, he's going to score. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's he's not the easiest of finishes. No, it's yeah. no. It bounced up as well. It bounced bouncing, up. But to keep that low and controlled, right. and like, even to keep up all the goal, he was like that mannequin, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just thought, wow. No, but he is a good finisher. Oh, he's a great finisher. Really, really, yeah, really good. good but no, the Celtic were comfortable and. If I'm a Ross County fan, I'm probably looking at that and thinking, you know what, that's got, we'll take a lot of positives from that. See, thing. on their performance and Kilmarnock's performance, do you think there'll, there'll be a lot more teams that have a go at Celtic like Rangers this year? I think they have to. Aye. You I need to, mate, don't you? I, I I'll say, say, I'll say, 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 say
I've said to him before, what's the point of sitting in for 90 minutes and hoping that you get a point? Is that point going to be that big a difference coming in the season? Whereas if you go and try and get three points and say you take a lead, you might end up with a point anyway. Aye. You but, can't sit in for 90 yeah. minutes against them. They're relentless. Yeah, yeah, they just yeah. keep coming and coming and coming. There's going to be a lapse in concentration somewhere and you're going to get punished for it. See for you as a striker as well when it's 5-4-1 mate and you're up there yourself. It's brutal, <laughs> It's brutal, man, honestly. You're chasing that your name for clones. Oh, it's the worst. Were you playing when, I, I don't know what to bring up bad memories, were you playing when it was nine? Was that before you, was that before you were there? Oh no, I was there. Were you there? I, I played. Was that the worst it's been? I was looking at it when it was 16, has you got to take me off yet or what? <laughs> Well, it's the worst that, the they, they were relentless yeah, that day, weren't they? Me. Do you know what it was? It was just, we were off the back of the Alkmaar one as well, and it was almost, I think that was just a. See if Alkmaar hadn't have happened, like, I don't think that would have happened. It was almost like, oh no, this is happening again. again. And again, but they just. And see when the fans were shooting, we went 10. I'm looking at saying, come on. He's, I know, mate, that was the thing, they weren't even relaxing at no, night, mate. They no, were still no. trying to score. Because the goal. fans were shouting, they were actually starting to think, so what we can actually get here. Get Let's keep there. going. I was like, no, don't. Oh Is that the worst you felt on a pitch? Aye, brutal. Like, honestly, the worst ever. I could imagine. I've been beat. Like, six, High scores. Aye, we get beat. Off, I remember when I was at Burnley, we got beat 6 1 off City. We were like 5 0 down at half time. We never felt like that. No. No. When Tevez was rolling one in at 5 0, I was like, oh, I've still got a chance here. Who scored for his Coily? He was just buzzing his... I scored and celebrated knee slid. It was 6-1. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a knee slide to the Burnley fans. <laughs> did you really? Oh, of course I did. We had just scored in the Prem. <laughs> knee slide against City. That's incredible. Did you see Matt O'Reilly? He's had another wee pop at... And? He's not shy, Matt, at Matt O'Reilly, no, is he? No, I don't mind it. It's it 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 how it is. You, team, mate, isn't it? you can see how much it lifted Turnbull when he said it, huh? Uh, I, I, I like he, Matt O'Reilly. I, I think he's a good, good player. Good player. Is, uh, is it MK Dons, isn't he? Uh, just the way he is as well. He's a bit, you know, the way Campwell moves with the ball. He yeah, does the same. yeah, yeah. Glides with the ball the way he glides. Great finish with his bad foot. Uh, so it was. I, I like thought he was going to side foot it, but he absolutely yeah, smashes right. it, didn't he? Well, he, just, he waited one more second. Did you see that? When yeah. he came across him, he could have snatched it and he waited and waited and then hit it. Yeah. That was a great finish. But like on that, that, that final goal, the, the way the camera angle showed the movement of Kyogre, it was different class, but yeah. they all thinking of the same path, like O'Reilly to move in. And, mm -hmm. and, nah, Celtic were decent. Um, the big boy, the Polish boy that made his no, debut, Rocky, he that? was actually yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah. Quite athletic. Yeah, he looks right, good. I, right. I think I would agree and say that he's an upgrade on Starfelt. I like Starfelt. But I think he could be an upgrade. I've not seen enough of him, but I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. see at the start before, because I didn't see the start. I actually thought it was Starfield playing. So did I, mate? We were at the the week before, yeah. and I was like, Star Starfield uh, playing the full first half, and it and was then I, I was I went on, had a look, and I was like, oh, same point. Uh -huh. there, is, there is a lot of similarities there. Uh, just on the interview, you were part of the, you were there at Hibs and Scott Brown done the, I don't know, remember it? I don't know. <laughs> is that the worst you've seen? Aye. <laughs> see, we, see, when he done it, <laughs> we didn't actually know he'd done it until. You got We've seen it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he not come back in and went, by the way, I've just had a no, fucking shot on that interview? No, it's Bruni, innit? <laughs> Bruni would have thought it was a good interview. <laughs> what an interview, I've just given it back. How was an interview? I don't know. I, 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 didn't, I didn't even realise until after it, you get him and you're like, What is he then? Aye. It was John Collins at that time, wasn't it? Aye. Uh -huh. I bumped into John a couple of weeks ago. And how is he? Big Glen Eagles, aye, he was brand new, aye. Brand new. <laughs> did, did that ever get, is that the first time you've seen him since the hip sign? Hey, I seen him. No, I seen him. Uh, I seen him once. Uh, uh, funny enough, I seen him at Glen Eagles there, right? And the first time I seen him again after the obviously I left Hibs was um, the Ryder Cup at Glen Eagles in 2014. Is that right? Yep. And I was steaming. <laughs> Steaming. I've been at the I've been at the Ryder Cup all day. I was on it at hospitality. I was thinking this is the best thing ever. Steaming. Staggering back to how we were getting home, I want to go there, but staggering yeah. back to how we were getting home, bump into John Collins and he's with his missus, and I'm like, all right, John? <laughs> I was like, oh no, he must have thought, he's a fucking idiot, that boy, man. <laughs> that is the worst, man, oh, you managers. Oh, I remember being at Cheltenham races, mate, and met Lee Clark, oh, and I spoke to Lee Clark about maybe going to Birmingham in the summer, oh, mate, steaming. It's the worst, thing. him, it? Steve Watts and his coaching staff, mate, never heard about it. You have to feel the next day and all, don't you? The next day, mate. You think, oh no, I've seen him. <laughs> Missy's like, did you see him there yesterday? No, I've never seen him there. You're like, oh no, I did. <laughs> and then you get flashbacks, <laughs> innit? It's the worst. <laughs> uh, how was that time at Hibs? Was that mad, huh? Ah, you like the run about the kind of... Do you know what? I was a young boy. so Easily I led as well, innit? Aye, but didn't you really register like what was going on in that? Do you know what I mean? You're just yeah. like, you were going for a meeting with, oh, are we? Let's go. And you're just like, do you know what I mean? Or things like that. You just sit there. Even after you leave, no, even really thinking anything there. Yeah. And then obviously now you look back and think like, 
a shambles. It was a great Hibs team for Kevin. Remember that What's team? the young one, Scott Brown, Tom O. Uh, you see when Mogger had this, it was brilliant. Oh, mate, because he's a joke, we were actually going out. Thinking, oh, we could beat Celtic in the day. I will win the day. From the guy in the corner, oh, big guys. Aye, what a guy, man. And Deeks, I would Deeks play off the left. Well, I kind of like. I was kind of like. I don't know if, if guys played up front me guys a wee bit. I was just coming on as a sub in that, and then I don't know if guys left and Deeks stayed. I might be wrong. It might be another way around. Right. But I played with one I of them. Right, man, guys I played first. with one of them. Yeah. And then he left, and then Deeks came back. Didn't he? Remember? Zero one. Zero one. one. <laughs> <laughs> Deeks came back. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, they were funny, man. I remember, I don't know if I've told this, I think I've told this story before, but Boot Boy, obviously getting into the first team, I was in the under 18s in the first team dressing room, came in, big guys is sitting there, and at that time, I'm like, oh my God, ga ga big guys in here, Caldwell's in there, and all, Stephen Glass, and I'm like, oh man, he going here, I was only 16. Why didn't they get um, who I was cleaning's boots? Oh, he just, wee man. I'm like, oh no, that's me. Come here. I'm like, oh. So I go, big guys, he's sitting, he does it. Sit down. I'm like, oh no. So I'm like, look, he does it. How does that feel? I'm like, how does that feel? It's a wooden bench. He's like, sitting next to a million pound player. <laughs> <laughs> it was when, uh, was it Sally or something? Or Rangers put Rangers a, a, a bid in for him? <laughs> oh, see, all the whole place is erupted. I'm like, oh, just grabbed the boots and walked out. He's a hero, guys. Like, how does that feel? And I'm like, he's sitting next to a million guy. pound player. I'm like, oh, no. He's a, his boys are good player, aren't he? His boys are good player. He'd be a really good player. Aye, aye. Would they, would they take he must be about 18 now. Who, the boy? He was running about when I was there. Was he, eh? Aye, uh, we Josh. What, we Josh? Gaz was a player, he would bring his wee boy to training, that? I used to, be, I used to run about the change room, for Gucci out his nut. I blah, <laughs> you remember to get that for you? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, wee boy, he'd long, but he'd, big guys grew his hair. It's like yeah. my wee man now. Gaz grew his hair, and that. He was a great looking wee guy. He used to run about Gucci trainers on, Gucci tracking you know, and all that. I was like, he's getting me a, me a <laughs> better gear than you. Better <laughs> gear than me, eh? Who was, who was the best player in that house, too? Tom was a joke, wasn't he? Tom at that Tom's time was unbelievable, man. Who else was in that? Was, was, uh, oh, Boozy. Boozy nah, was, was the best Boozy was the best. The law, I admit it. Boozy was technically the best player there, mate, honestly. See the things he used to do? Incredible. Boys to come to him, roll to him, and I've only ever seen him do this. Obviously, see when Ronaldinho and that had the ball, they'd be dribbling and they would do the old... Flip, flip. He, the ball would roll to him, and, he and he'd flip, flap it on the move, and I'd be like, oh. Ah, he was good. Incredible. Unbelievable. I man. played with him at Kamarnik. He was good. So good. Boozy and did he go to Kelly, didn't he, mate? He came on time at Celtic when Moggy came to Celtic. So he did. I, why and did he was you a sign joke, him? mate, right? Moggy not sign up. He was a joke in training, but I got quite pallid because he was he quite funny. He used to was. whistle when he nutmeg like Lenny or that. Brilliant, mate. They were fucking raging. But, mate, then he just started playing for Megs in training. I was like, Boozy, what are you doing? You could get a contract you here. You could get a contract here and you're just trying to make people every time you get the ball. I think he'd a bad knee though, did he know? Ah, ah fuck this. Aye, nah, but I'd have just let him sign it anyway, man. He was probably He's a hero. He's a really good guy as well. Ah, he's top man. Who, who was good with you at that time? Who, Him. Who, me, me, so obviously me and me Jinky were like Bill and Ben, weren't we? Yeah. Running about each other all the time. So we would, um, Boozy used to say, come, come to my flat. We used to go to his flat and that. To be fair, Deeks was good and all. As much as everyone used to think he was a, a daft he was, not he? he used to invite me and drink him for Pro Evo tournaments and oh, that. Oh, would he, huh? So he's good. Mate, Dix isn't that as, like, as... He's not what everybody thinks, thinks he is, no, is no, he? No, no, no. I still see his boy play just in his mirror, so they uh, play against... He's ah, still trying right. to get a game of golf away up at Glen Eagles. I think he just wants to come up to... Just to get he's murdered at golf, too. Is he? Ah, he's murdered. He sent me his... Uh, no, he's murdered. Is he? He's, to be fair, he sent me his thing. He's half ten or something, No, there's no way he's half ten. Is he hopeless, guy, is he? He's hopeless. I've played with him up at the Carrick a few times. Were they the type, though, because you were a young striker coming through, were they a wee bit wary of you that you were going to come and take their place now with the brand new? They were brand new, honestly, right, so... Me and uh, me and we drink out were the first two to kind of get into the first team. So we were in the youth team dressing room. So see, when we used to play there, we used to get changed to Easter Road and then we'd have to drive. First team players jumping on motors and drive to our, it'd be on the board, we're training here the day. Yeah. It was a different day, every different place every day, be on here. But, so the youth team would some more than likely train somewhere else. So they'd get on the minibus and go. But if you were, you would just be like, Fletch, Jinky, you're training with first team a day. Like shouting through the court, you're like, Right, how are we getting the training? Training, uh, Who can't drive? Could you get a drive? So we'd get the first team driving with big gas. More me, man. Come with me. He's a big X5, right? So me and Jinky jump in and be like, right, every day he'd stop outside Greg's and send me and Jinky in. <laughs> <laughs> I've got boots on. I'm like, I'm walking, I'm, I'm walking through, through Greg's, Greg's with high heels on. <laughs> Honestly, full head training gear. Big man at Greg's before training. Ah, he loved it. Aye, sausage roll and a coffee. He just didn't. Uh, oh, what a hero! He didn't like. live a life off football. I smoke it. <laughs> we, I was at Deeks used to say all the time. That was when you went to Russia after that, didn't it? Aye, went to Russia. Aye, and you took the nine shirt. Aye, aye. 
Aye, ah, brilliant man. Me and Jamie McCluskey, remember him now? Me and Jamie He must have the world record for stepovers, mate. 100%. Yeah. He was Every a half-time time he 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 half entertainment. <laughs> the fans loved it. Uh, See, because we were on the bench, we just did tricks to it. We'd all be doing, like, messing about long passes and Jinky just be in the middle of the park doing keep yuppies. Mate, he was a player, wasn't he, Jinky? Ah, he was a What about, you that time ever interest for Celtic and Rangers? Was that never anything you fancied? I see the when I was at Hibs and Stratton tried to sign me in the January. Yeah. That was like when I really, really wanted to go. I was like, oh, toys were at the prime and everything. I thought my thought my career was over. Right. When I never. Do you know what so I mean? what was that? Rod Petrie and I want to sell you at Celtic. I think they were like him and they were just him and Celtic. They were just negotiating like literally a couple of hundred grand. I think at the time of like difference. Right. And they were just they weren't they didn't they, nothing kind of materialised and then. Um, Coily came in, didn't he, in the summer, man. You can't turn down Coily. Coily, aye. Uh-huh. Brilliant, man. Have you heard the story about when he went down for his medical, huh? No. no. Cut a can's iron brew and I gave him a heat tennis. tennis. That was me signed for the Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually nuts that he was, he was the manager of Burnley in the Premier League. Brilliant, mate. Uh-huh. He was brilliant, honestly. What, 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 just like man manager? Brilliant, or, mate. I loved uh, him, aye. So, big actually, Tomo there, would, the, would he be? Aye, would big he, Tomo was here, aye. Was here, aye. aye. Some of the things he used to do in training, mate. Who, Stephen Thompson? Oh, brilliant. What, what, what sort of things? He dribbled with the ball five sides and would just start get the ball turn back the other way you might be going this one he would dribble along the doing the pitch all the way along nobody was tackling him and he'd just be running like that pure straight all the way along in a big arc why just for like, for a banter for, for a banter right boys would just fall to the floor <laughs> laughing and all that <laughs> Coyley would play in the five sides chip the goal at least five times a day mate we played him at head tennis and he smashed me as well unbelievable mate. unbelievable mate ah, Coyle see, uh, Coyle used to do that we used to do a, a shooting drill if like this was every day but isn't it a shooting drill it was just volleys so he could shout Fletcher and I'd shoot I'd shoot see what name we shout gold <laughs> gold gold and see if you missed him we shout silver <laughs> that's <laughs> incredible oh, oh, see, Sandy used to take the the warm ups it was basically your old school touch left touch right, right. in twos yeah. front two at the back and all that so we'd all be joking around Premier League mate was like, see if somebody was filming us mate it'd be brilliant for a comedy <laughs> sketch we'd all be touch left everybody's done up he'd Premier League, best thing ever. Oh, brilliant. But Coyle would be in the middle of the pitch at this time, be a goal, and he would just strike a bondy. <laughs> <laughs> and you would just hear it, mate, and you'd just be in stitches before two, and it was the best oh, thing I ever. Know, I love that so much, yeah. It's pure childish, but we, we'd be driving right? to training, and you'd, one of the boys just sit in the back, and you'd just hear, <laughs> the boys would just, just erupt. <laughs> See, at Burnley, was there more play- pressure playing for Hibs than there was for Burnley? Maybe because you just knew the Premier See, League. See, because I was young, mate. I was just going to do I was just yeah. thinking, this what is, is, just, you, this uh, is brilliant. I moved him when I was 21. 21. 21. But I was just thinking, this is brilliant, man. I actually thought this is what everyone was like. Every Prem team was like until I moved to Wolves and realised it was nothing like no. it. How, what was the difference? Just like, I'm all saying it was unprofessional. It was just, it was brilliant. It was my, honestly one of my favourite years in football that year. And I know we get relegated, but see, just, it was probably the best for me to go doing to England and be in that environment to start with because I'd have probably got a wee bit like oh, I want to get back home do you know yeah, what I mean home being sense. away aye but that obviously we had loads of Scottish boys Big Easty That's me and Easty signed the same day so that Kevin was easy McDonald. but my Kev's did you still get robbed the first night you were doing that aye aye what was robbed. It? <laughs> did it, what three was Scottish it? boys in Manchester getting robbed <laughs> what, what was that cash machine aye getting cash at dafties like that big Kev at the top say, get me 500 quid out will you I'm like no bother stupid ass thingy there's obviously groups of boys and all that like, wait till he takes that out did you say give your money did he say he just grabbed it and ran Big Easty get turned the turbos on. Well, did he chase him, Brian Easty? Did he <laughs> catch him and get his dough back? I stood back in the taxi and I waited him thinking, no. Tell you what, the fucking thieves must have been slow. I <laughs> know, uh, I Big Easty, man. What, uh, Kev McDowell's a character as well, mate. Oh, mate, mate what a guy. Have you met Kev before, mate? I think I've. I think, He's a hero, I think I've, I've boy. played against He's him somewhere. One of the funniest boys I've ever had. I've never actually been in his company. Uh, is he thick, f- Fletch? Uh, but that's I was going to try and hang him here, but no, he yes, is I Probably as he's got older, he's got hangy, man. But oh, honestly, man. Any just, examples now? Nah. It's just daft, uh-huh. more than thick. Do you know what I mean? Just daft, man. We remember driving to training one day. <laughs> he got a, he, I think he had a Range Rover, right? Obviously, he would get in the Premier League. He's bought himself a new motor. Something had happened because he drives it like a dafty, right? Bumps up curbs and all that. See if he's like hanging the wheel, just bump up the curb and run rather than just waiting for the guy to move in. Do you know what I mean? He's boo boo. So I think he'd done his tyre or something. So he got a, he got a, you know, if you go through your insurance, they just give you a motor. They don't, it's no like, don't take, he's no took it to Range Rover and they'd gave him a Range Rover back. Right, he just, he just went to a local guys and they'd just gave him their spare motor. It was one of the big, is it, see, Alhambra's? <laughs> 
thing was like a greenhouse man you know all the windy <laughs> seven seater <laughs> so he's like come on everybody I'll take us to training so he's picking us up in this big red Alhambra <laughs> right and uh, we're driving and all that and obviously then nobody's kind of realising that it's all us one of the boys is in front in his nice motor and he's got a look aid bottle and he's like out the windy <laughs> half a look aid bottle but then everybody, he's laughing we're driving through Burnley mate it's done it like a sore thumb flinging do you know what I mean? So he's threw a bottle, right? Hanging, no thought of Nate's hurt the one of the boys' motors dropped in, but Burnley's just Burnley. Everybody supports Burnley. Right. So fans have seen Kev McDonald in the hysterics driving, chucking but we're all in the shower, right? Big coily storms in, both you just hear the door. You, you, you in my office. No, don't even get changed. We're all like, oh no. We're all walking back in, man. Big Coyle's teeth well, on the phone. Towels up, raging towels Coyle... up. He's screaming it as I'm like, his front two teeth, I've got to follow it, man. He's screaming it as that much. <laughs> he's fuming half his mate. He's like, who threw the bottle? He's just fucking representing Burnley and all that. This, this. Big Kev's like, it was me, yeah, well, He's took the blame on that, but he was just, you know, just thick. Didn't he? Know what I... uh, can Coyle go as well? Eh? Can he crack? Oh, yeah, man. Can he mix get oh, it? Right. I've never imagined Coyle going mad. But it was, you're trying to take it in and that, you're just thinking it's deeper going for. So, <laughs> he's back in India again, ah, mate. Yeah, he's he's in a few quid, did you? Did you still speak to him? Again, what, are there any other managers you still speak to? Eh, oh. Who was your manager at Sundown? De Canio. Uh, oh, <laughs> Martin O'Neill to start with. Martin O'Neill, I was. I love Martin. Man. Did you love Martin O'Neill? Oh, he was brilliant, mate, honestly. He's a good day, though. He made me feel like a million dollars, and did I knew I was near a million dollars. How, what, what sort of stuff? Just, just how good his you man management, like? mate. He would be, before games, he'd come down and sit next to you and just. Because he wasn't really a big speaker in a big group, do you know yeah. what I mean? Because even telling the team, see if you were like 10 and 11 in that team sheet. You weren't sure whether you You didn't play. know if you were on the bench or because he would rhyme off the full team all the way to the subs, the last sub. So he'd be like, ah, counting as he's gone. See, so obviously being obviously number nine, I'm like, oh, shit, I'm like, I must have done that. To the just in your eye. But, um, that's, what, that's the way you used to read he it. Would I remember walk that it he'd like... walk, so at Sunday, you know, when you the, the two doors in the changing aye, room, aye, aye. he'd walk in that door, stop, read out the the full team. So 18 sheet, names? 18 names and walk straight back out the other door. Aye. No, a word said. <laughs> you'd be like, I'm oh. a plane. You'd probably just look a bit like a cinder. But then, and then see, would Wally or that come around and tell you? Uh, well, Wally would say, yeah, you're starting. Uh -huh. blah, blah, blah. But then he'd come in like 10, 15 minutes before you, probably about 10 minutes before you were going to go out, and he would just, he'd be watching people, do you know what I mean? You could see, and he would just come over and he'd just sit next to me and blah. Like, just say things to you, do you know what I mean? Like, well, he'd, what a good player, yeah. He'd been carrying us, if it wasn't for you, and that, you know, just, uh -huh. and you'd blah. Like, and then he'd go to the next guy and you'd blah. Like, just don't know he's been carrying. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's just signed, signed, signed midweek, sitting in beside the East for East my boys. <laughs> <laughs> Is he your best manager, please? Aye, I feel like he got. I was, I've liked every single one of them. Even everyone's got their own thing. Like even Decanio, like see, now I think back about it. Yeah. He was actually a really good coach. Coach, yeah, really, yeah, yeah. really good coach. Obviously, he hated me. I know he did. Mm -hmm. For day one, I why did he hated you? Because I was in Dubai when he signed. Right, uh, you think and he signed flash, came with us. Uh, but I was. Uh, and I still was it for the day he signed. I was it for another nine months. Right. So I knew I was, but I was. Uh, Martin had already sanctioned me to go away because I was going coming back and going straight from operation. Right. So he was like, "Go away, holiday, and come back, have your operation, and rehab starts." Obviously, when I'm away, Martin get the sack. I'm like, "Oh no!" And then he told you to come back, didn't he? Oh no, no. He never. I had any contact with him at all. So I just phoned the doc. I was like, "What? What are they here?" And he's like, "Just like." There's nothing you can do, you're on holiday and blah blah blah. And I was like, alright, came back the first day and he's like, ah, Gaffer wants to see the dot, pure from <laughs> Gaffer wants we'll you, pure giving it a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you probably told me to stay. <laughs> so I was like, did he crack in the office? No, he just, it was a bit, you know, when you get up, you when you get off on the wrong foot, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it just never, like, never, not never kind of, after that was it. Uh -huh. See, on like, we like, talked about people's interviews, did he ever do an interview where the players were like, Oh, aye, every single one. What, what, can you remember what the worst one was? Uh, well, did you used to do like team gym stuff? Yeah. Like, when you have like, all you basically military yeah, and those. Yeah. Did he ever used to come in his sloggies? Sloggies all the time, yeah. oh, Just sloggies. Just, just uh, an under armour. No, just sloggies. Slog aye. Just pants on. Just pants, aye. <laughs> so you'd be in a plank, right? Because it was pure military. You'd all be in a plank, aye, wouldn't you'd you? Go around the like, core, holding it. He would just come over, wouldn't he? And just be. Bang on your back, you blah. <laughs> <laughs> well, but obviously, but at one time, obviously, big Carlos Coelho cracked up, didn't he? How about big Carlos that, bounced it? up, man. Like, don't touch me like that. How about did the did the guy? Uh, so we were having a meeting. We'd been pumped, I think, man. We were in a meeting, and he had a big cane. He used to use, you know, 
because he were watching the thing the on the, the clips the clips. And he's banging the he's banging the yeah. thing off the the projector. TV, uh, the projector thing. And then he's just obviously it was he's obviously no mentor, but you know what he's like, he's passionate as guy mm -hmm. in the world, man. Big smack big Carlos on the on the fires, big Carlos is sitting less in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> big man's just bounced up what big cheesy and that's had to get up and be like oh right. and then that was it then he, he went that day would he cane boys in interviews like to the public did that ever happen he used to do that to us um, all the time mate. no well, you know remember when he spat in his own face oh tell that West Brom away kid? no West Brom away man like, <laughs> I'm like that ah. he's <laughs> men on me but he was probably ah come on Come back to him, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> that's incredible. See, he's a coach still, man. Uh, on the pitch, distances that. off the ball, and all that. He was Everything really good. Everything was so it? good. He had, a, he had a good time at Sunderland. He won that Newcastle game, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah, won the Newcastle knee slide. slide. Yeah. So he did that. Uh, slid past the guy that scored. <laughs> <laughs> it was all about him, wasn't it? Aye. Tap off, wasn't it? Aye, he's just, uh, aye. But he's, we just got off the right foot, and I think I was fuming that I was injured. And he was fuming that I was injured yeah, and yeah, we just yeah. clashed. I, I, and what, have you ever had managers Kenyan public in an interview after a game? No. I remember he called me, I've said it before, a chihuahua sitting on the bus list because the radio used to go on the bus and he'd be doing his interview but so they would go live to him and you'd be sitting on the bus. So he's in the stadium. a chihuahua in the mid middle of the pitch. I want a Rottweiler but Simon Ferry's a chihuahua. <laughs> and then he said, Big Ed in front was sitting next to me six foot. You know Big Funny? Oh, I know Funny. Huh? He's like, how can we win the league with a six foot four bunny rabbit playing centre back? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I never, I never had that. I don't think, I don't know. I never had it. But I never used to watch like, the manager's no. interviews. OB wasn't he there so when you were there, was he? Alan O'Brien. Was he there when you yeah, were there? Mate, uh -huh. no, but was, was he, no, but was he there with the Cameo? No, 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 the, oh, no, the Cameo would have fucking destroyed <laughs> something. Speedboat no driver. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Cameo would have slaughtered ah, him. I was mate. thinking that. He would not have been the type. What about, I wanted to ask if his best strike partner used Kevin Phillips, isn't it? Uh, well, it wasn't really my strike partner. I only got like, a few games along right, with him. Right. But he's, he's, his experience, he's, his knowledge and, and the way he talked to you. But Mar Marcus Stewart would probably be Oh, what a player, mate. I actually saw that. him yesterday. No, I saw him yesterday, but he was on the at the Sunderland Ipswich game. Aye. And he was looking well because obviously he's been diagnosed with that motor neuron disease. Oh, is he right? Oh, question. Um, oh, um, but no, he was looking well, and he he was experienced, clever, just really clever. Love see, when you, see when you play with somebody that's. I played against him when he was at Exeter, and he was still an absolute <laughs> standout man. Oh, do you know who I played with? It was Parley with him, Jamie Curitan. Jamie Curitan, Curitan that's right. He, he scored some out of goals, mate. Mate, fucking, he's a good player, but no, definitely Marcus Stewart. I always find that just, hard mate. to answer that. I played with a lot of like. You must have played with some good some ones. Some good ones, but like. As in, like. And as their individual careers have been unbelievable, but see, just clicking with somebody. Aye, you never like, really had that? Aye, but wouldn't it be who people would be like? Because you that? played with the four, played with Louis Saha. Mate, Ferdinand and that were talking about Saha. Louis Saha that played aye, with Man United. With Man United. Aye. They were saying he was a joke, nah. Mate, he's unreal. Obviously, I got him at the end of his career. Same with Jermaine, got him kind of near the end of his career. Well, um, but Louis, funny, I got a story with Louis, weren't I? Christmas Do, man, Dublin. Right. And um, what do you call him again? What do you call the, the gaff in Dublin? Everyone goes, Temple Bar. Temple Bar, uh -huh. And Temple Bar. Big Louis didn't like the music. Big Louis had his beats on. <laughs> <laughs> Big Louis his beats by Dre on, mate. No. Mate, Big Louis just walking about the nightclub. Oh, are you alright, Big Bass? We got a sneak shot. Is that shot? Are you alright when you're done? Is that shot on that? Come on. That's incredible, man. Incredible, mate. Was he a good guy? Aye, ah, he was a great guy, mate. Aye, really good, really good guy. Who would you say was better? Is it hard or before? Oh, it's. it's ah, harder. Who am I to answer that one? Do you know what I mean? So I know, see, but just so like in training and stuff like that, who would be like, wow? They both are both just natural finishers, do you know what I mean? Yeah. They so that was a lefty as well, wasn't it? Do you, do you know what Defoe was really good at? I was shocked at holding the ball up. Strong. We should just get that arm like, up mm. into somebody's throat and just hold them off. And I'm like, how are you I'm like, I'm in the house and that bitch. Stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you play with Defoe that day he scored that volley? I was made it flicked. I was going to say you right, flicked it. Flicked it right. That was outrageous. That's the best volley. It was unbelievable, wasn't it? Who was that against? Big Something long ball up to long ball big long ball to Dafty. Yeah, he's got to flick it on. He just the head. Oh, uh, he's he's scored the ball. That's one of probably the greatest. I would say ten of your derby goals ever. Would you be nervous playing with guys Nobody at that caliber? Nobody talks about mine. My volley because of that. What boy? That's what, what I mean. <laughs> there you go. Big <laughs> Eunice Kabul steps out for defence. Diags one out of me and I catch it on the volley left foot across the goalie. Nobody even talks about it. Against who? But Newcastle. I'm going to watch that. Because the, the, the big man scored an absolute screamer. <laughs> and two and everything away from Nobody talks about it. I'm still how, trying how to find out YouTube and they were the derby's amazing. Unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. I know you've never played in a certain but 
You've been at them, is it? Oh, aye. aye. Uh, no, because you know what? Up here, it's like, this is, even people don't know what to come up and watch this one. Uh, but it is a good one, isn't it? That's, that, I would say it's as close to what I know fun as you'll get. You think so, huh? Aye. Down there, probably, because like... What, more than like Liverpool Everton or not? It's a bit... Well, I've never been to Liverpool Everton, but for, for, for how... Because Liverpool... They... You gauge people yeah, on how they don't like each other, and there's a proper genuine hate right. between them two. Mm -hmm. And it's like, what what got me was when, when, when Newcastle used to come to the stadium, like, they would be escorted from St James's Park all the right, way to the stadium, like, and it would be a bus, police bike, bus, right, police bike, the and then the, everyone was like, in between. And as they come in, some of the fans would just be waiting on them, and it was just... Right. And then, yeah, you, would you play one at St James's? Aye, aye. Beat them at St James's? I didn't get beat. And oh, I didn't get beat? No, I didn't get beat. No, they used to cause the... <laughs> The Slayers, didn't they, or something like that? Did they, right? uh, they had a nickname for their team because we didn't get beat. What was it? Would you Have you ever won a derby and went straight out after it? Aye. What is it like? Just yeah, probably. Man, straight yeah. into Sunderland? No, Newcastle. Straight <laughs> 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 it's Sunderland to shine out, uh, it's not the best, I've never been out in Sunderland. Right. I was in Newcastle. Yeah, I lived in Newcastle. Good, I was, still, I was in living in Jesmond. Oh. So, so I was just, right? just walking out. I was just walking out and just going straight out. How many probably times man. a week would you be out? Jasmine's a great night out. Jasmine's probably. On a Sunday it's good, isn't it? Jasmine Road. Is it Jasmine Road? 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 I was literally Road? walking this Is that where the pubs are? Aye, I was walking this Who would you go out with? Who would be the boys you'd usually go out with? Danny Graham, isn't it? Danny Graham's a hero, man. I mean, even if you Did you go out with when you were at Sunderland? Would I go out? Nah. What was it? Were there any days like three, two, three night times a week? Well, because I was breaking out the first team and now Quinn and they guys were coming to an end. They still had the regular Tuesday club. Oh, right. So that was a thing. Tuesdays were brilliant. So, Tuesday, so it was like train Monday, Tuesday was your running day. Yeah. And then it was like, who's going to Durham? And we'd go into Durham. Durham and they, it was proper old school. And then when they left, we had guys like Marcus Stewart, Sean Thornton, Jeff Whitley. They took on the Tuesday club. The club <laughs> but their Tuesday club was way wilder than <laughs> Niall Quinn's Tuesday right, club. Uh, <laughs> It was fucking Some good sports in Durham, wasn't it? Aye, Durham was good. Durham was really good. Aye, there was, aye. So, see, back then, even like Prem players when you were there, going out two nights a week? Aye, we were at Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday. Oh, yes. Aye, because we always knew Monday was always going to be a cool day. Cool day, aye. aye Sunday was Tuesday a good was day. the tough day. Aye. But you knew as soon as I finished that, we're out. We're out. Aye, and then Wednesday, you were off. Especially when we were at Burnley and that. We were a Monday, when we played with Newcastle, eh, Sunderland, we were a Monday because Monday. There was a nightclub down by the, the quay called the Baja Beach Club. Oh, I remember it. Everybody went there on a Monday. Everybody. So we just fucking rocked up on a Monday and thought, and you know. you did your hard day on the Tuesday. And then you did See, your fucking See, Newcastle, you could every night, couldn't you? There was Aye. a night, there was something on every, oh, every night. Every night, every night in Newcastle. Mate, remember Barsley got caught for the canio, you know, in a casino or something, flinging money about <laughs> Who was? Phil Barsley. Oh, I Bardo was, it. it's the man in Manchester, you know, the, what's that casino called in Manny? I don't know, I never ventured in there, thankfully. Uh -huh. Bardo was funny, man. And did the canoe bring it up the next day? Aye. Because I think he, he get, it was like, he get pictured doing it, do you know what I mean? So obviously. Uh, he was fucked. Because Bardo and that get, they, get, they get bombed for a while, didn't they? Having cats. That. Having cats for a while. And then as soon as he went, they get back in because they were part of it. Uh, they were like, like heroes there, weren't they? Uh, they were, uh, mate. Cats was brilliant, man. What a guy. What Carmel is he? Brilliant. What type of guy? Some golfer, by the way. Is he? He's a member at Renaissance. He must well, be a scratch golf, is he? Well, you're loving golf, mate, aren't <laughs> He must be a scratch golfer then, is he? Is, what, uh, what kind of guy is Catamo? I was, I'm not, I might be wrong, but guy, was man. he average, but average player? Just a dog, I have. Just a dog, but he was better Technical than decent. everybody. You always, you know when you train with somebody? Yeah. They're always better than you actually think when you see them, do you know what I mean? Watching them very far. Yeah, like, uh, for me, when you were saying about my best strike partner, I feel like I had the best thing here with Gary Hooper over oh, at Sheffield Wednesday. But I didn't realise how good Hoops was. I knew he was a goal scorer. But see, actually training with him every day and his technical ability was unbelievable compared yeah. to what I actually thought. You just see him play for Celtic, you just see him scoring five goals a game in that, you know? Yeah. But he was actually technically unbelievable. Because uh, even in Europe, and that Gary Hooper scored goals for Celtic, uh, didn't he? Gary a good footballer. Uh, because I, I was just leaving Celtic when he came, and then even in training, you could tell what a good football player he was. Technically, he was, not he? Good, didn't he? Was he Baz Bannon there as well? Ah, we bad. Brilliant, isn't what he? A player, I watched him at the week on Friday night. He's a joy, isn't Still he? their best player, mate. It's mad, isn't it? Uh -huh. Man. What a player. A um, Paul McGowan, did you see him at the weekend? I never seen it, Sire. Oh, did you saw that. We used to batter, used to be fair youth team, weren't we? Mm. No. 
No hipster or no bad to be oh, fair. Alright, but you, you mm. wouldn't be us, would you? Uh, he gave us a few. Do you, do you remember the guy was a plan? Ah, he was not just used to rat about, didn't uh, he? Up front, run about. His nickname was Psycho, mate. <laughs> so he got sent off at the weekend for getting Hamilton fans the finger. No, he never. He did, mate. They couldn't, they couldn't have been. <laughs> he's 36, <laughs> mate. He's still doing shit like yeah, this. Who, 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 who was he actually sticking the finger up to? Because Hamilton don't have fans. <laughs> Has he had his barnet done yet? <laughs> he's had it done, mate. Has he had it done, aye? Yeah. His was, his was bad, mate. Soon you've had your barnet done, you just go about thinking. He you can go get any of the to him last week. <laughs> you just go about thinking. Well, I was talking to Aiden last week, he was about his role at here. Yeah, yeah, I spoke to him as well on the phone. Aye, he's going to, he's going to come on the next couple of weeks. Aye, he said he's going to come on. He was it's a good there. role for Aiden, that. He needs that, doesn't he? He'll be good at that, I think. He's a clever guy. People don't realise how clever he is. He's went and studied that, hasn't he? I met him on holiday in the summer there. You know the World Cup break? Yeah, yeah. Met him on holiday, had a few pints at the pool with him, man. He's actually a lot. It's more switched on oh, than everybody thinks, isn't it? Yeah, he's a clever boy, yeah. We were asking that last week, you ever went on holiday and you've had an awkward one with another player? No, no really, no. Nah, no. But the places you go, you'll always see football players, I always, you? Who's um, the biggest name you've seen? Do you know who I met, uh, do you know who I met in the summer there? George Moncour. George you know, his Moncour? dad played for West Ham. Ah. I met him and I never really came across him before, only played against he's him. Played with, like, and that, I just remember he used to wear his socks dead low and I actually ah. said that to him, so he used to annoy me. He's like, why? It's just because of you, you're your socks. socks. <laughs> Great guy. Is he a hand? Great guy, mate. Aye, and I Tunes never like. London for a bit. He's at, where's he now? Charlton, there. No, they just get promoted. He's late in Orion. Is it Orion? He's at, right? Did they just get promoted? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye, uh, he's there now, aye. He's been away by a big Charlie a couple of times, isn't he? Aye, big Chico, man. Here, oh, aren't he? Aye, Good looking man, isn't he? He's remember, you went to Loch Lomond a couple of times in that last year. Did you? Did the families get quite tight? The missus are good pals. Right. Nah, just, you know, when you just have to get put with. Put with Charlie. Uh -huh, no, but I got your put with. Uh, he's, he's, he's funny, isn't he? Great guy, man. Great guy. One liners are incredible. Oh, unbelievable. He's, funny. he's one of the funniest guys I've met. He's brilliant, man. He's non stop, I know. But see, when you see him on sports in that, he's quite serious, man. Uh -huh. Sky, uh -huh. isn't he? Uh -huh. like, oh, Friday man. night, doing the, the, the season review, I was like, doesn't he feel like the same guy that comes on your show? <laughs> I know, hopefully he's going to come I actually on bumped again. into him the other day, that's where I was in Alessio's, going for a coffee. Give okay, Alessio's a shout out, mate. It's a good coffee shop. Alessio's is brilliant, man. I'd say that's probably the best coffee. In Glasgow. Wow. Tasting wise. Tell Where? you. Alessio's in Kirkie. What's your fucking nightclub? Oh, that is a nice place, actually. Lovely, but I was there this morning, actually. Did you, you play with Charlie? Uh, obviously, I've done your night, but before that? Scotland. Scotland, that was it. Aye, that was it. My favourite, Danny Graham, just talking about my favourite story on here is when he got the young boy with the Yankee Bravos. Aye, that's a. That's a <laughs> Danny's honestly the funniest boy you'll ever meet. Is he Danny Graham? Oh, uh, mate, he's non stop. Like, non. I, I car school doing for three and a half years, mate, Sunday. Non stop. What, just like winding younger just, boys up? Oh, constantly. For the, like, you know, when you, you know, you know, it's like sometimes you're picking one of the boys up in the morning, you're just a wee bit shattered. Uh -huh. You get in, man, and big Danny's big daft laugh just gets in your morning, you're like, you can't help but just like, just like, in a good mood all the time. <laughs> all the time, uh -huh. mate, aye. Did you, did Charlie ever do anybody at United, any of the younger boys? I'm sure he put a video up of doing one of the United boys at the start. See, before I signed, I seen a video of him doing the kit, man. The kit man, that was, it, where, was like, that again? Yeah, you, you lie down and you've got to try and get up. Uh -huh. Big Charlie gets his arse out. <laughs> <and> <laughs> <things> <laughs> <like that. laughs> 30 fucking six I've year old. I've seen man. that in the change of what I'll do for me. I'll go and sign there. <laughs> Amazing. What other characters you played with? Uh, Griggsy, what's he like? Griggsy's, Griggsy's Griggsy, isn't he? I played, that's what I'm saying. I played that golf, golf thing where, uh -huh. man, he's the same on that, I know. Thick as shit. Uh, you, do you play with Griggsy? Scotland under 21s, but he never played. Remember, I said that. Can you get a game? Can you get a game for Soapy? Mad, did it? It's actually mad. For Derek Suter? Derek Suter, aye. He wow. was the number one goalie. Couldn't he get Griggsy? Couldn't he shift him? That's but then Griggsy yeah. wasn't at that time anywhere near Rangers first team. Aye. So he takes a while he, for he, a goal, he was a late bloomer. Aye, they're usually getting when they're late bloomer. Griggsy, I think, for the Rangers, but nah. Um, what's he play off? I want to say six or something. No. But. I only seen him playing see, that. See that when they're saying single figure side, yeah. that, what that means is, right, they've got too much time on their hands and they're on the golf course every day. I know, that's that's what he, all he does now, mate. Yeah, that's why I'm half 10, because I'm sitting. I've got golf key on the new just I know, mate, I was thinking that old Admiral <laughs> Jack. It's like Superman, isn't it? I thought it was like a Barnsley sub jacket you're wearing, mate. That was uh, Leeds. Leeds Admiral, Leeds that's where he's gone strike, wasn't it? What a link, because he's up next. What was Gordon Strike like as a Scotland man? One liner's good. Oh, unbelievable, man. He used to be on the training pitch for three years, man. Oh, he loved it, man. He loved it. He proper loves training. The only time I used to get go him back to the room after training. Trained or or our lives. When I used to go over Scotland, I used to go back into my room after training, go to sleep. Because you were that tired. <laughs> uh -huh. Brilliant though it was. Uh -huh. I used to love being on the training pitch. There was a lot to do with strikers and that as well, wasn't it? Nah, it was, was a lot of stuff. Loved that box. That box cross. 
the no, box. Just outside the box. That box way, the Kevin De Bruyne ball in it. I used to Loved need to do that, that as a young kid, mate. See when you thought you just made. Couldn't beat the first man. Oh, couldn't beat the first man. <laughs> and he'd come over and you go, "This is too much." So this is how you do it, pal. And, just and then he in. would just go and put it in. That's happened a few times you in your career. There's a picture to be the server. Like, Always, mate. And I was, not, I was a centre midfielder, mate. I was a five yard passer. So used to put it out to zing balls in for the side. Why did they pick you? You must have showed something. Just to make an arses, mate. Honestly, most enthusiastic. That's what I was, mate. Most enthusiastic. So you put a bad bond in that Hearts and we just fucking. Volley it away, mate. Do you know what I mean? You're like, John, put it in the net, just so I went decent. Volley it at least in the net. Kick it away. You, 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 you had that in you, mate. Somebody Aye. gave you a bad ball. I remember putting a ball and you just fucking punched it. Do you know what? It's funny you say that. See, uh, playing under 15s, right? Make sure Pat Lennon was my under 15s coach. He was going through his, he must have been going through his coaching at the time. Right. Did, did I know that he was going to end up being my first team manager right. a couple of years ago? After it, sorry. Training, man. They put a ball get put in a void, a boy of the fence, fuming. And he done stop like obviously big big man's raging. Stop doing that. Next ball come in, no good enough again. Bag straight here. He's like get in, <laughs> send me in, right? So I've marched in, fifteen year old pure got a chip on my shoulder. Marched in, man. Remember fucking next minute, man. That's at Hibs and it gets announced that Mixu was going to be the first team guy. I'm like, oh no. Oh, yeah. Last time I seen him, he sent me in for training. <laughs> and then that was, you left under Mixu, didn't you? Um, I think you did. Was it under Mixu? I think. Oh, do you know who got the? I don't know if Mixu. Left that summer as well because Yogi got the job. Oh, did he? How was Yogi? I went in get, well, I'd already I'd left in the summer as well, and I went in to get my. You know, you want to go and say bye to the boys. Your preseason hadn't started yet; they were back in. I didn't know, so I've turned up at the training ground to go and get all my boots and all that, and like say bye to all the staff. One of the boys goes something. Which Gaffer wants to see you? I'm like, oh no. I said, I'm not. I don't play here anymore. Can it the moves to the office? No, like? no well, I'd already signed in that. Right. I don't play here anymore. Would you want to see me <laughs> for? I want to see you. <laughs> so I've been in his office. He's like, sit down. You know what he's like? I'm like, oh, no. He's like, you know what to play for me? No. I'm like, I'll sign back if you want. <laughs> Big Yogi's a hero. No, he? he was like, he was brand new. He was like, listen, we were all the best. That would have been good to work with you and all that. But I was like, oh, cheers, thank you. He played some proper stuff at Hibs as well, Yogi, didn't he? He, just, oh, he, he was good, man. He's always tried to play everywhere. He's went Yogi. Yeah, right? uh, I wonder if he'll get back in. I think he'll get back in. I don't know. It gets no, tougher. I think, no, I think he's desperate to get back in, but I don't know if he will, mate. That's what I was saying. It's tough see when you've been out for so long, and sometimes it's like. Yeah. Almost that you Is want that what you're this. feeling now? We Four but, weeks you've been we off. But that. I, I'm still waiting for that. Like I was saying, when you were saying, do you want to go in it? I've had the offers. That's probably me being a wee bit hangy, but I'm just, I want something that gives me that wee, that wee buzz eye. Aye, so I was going to say, so, 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 it can, like, financing that, forget about that. It's just somewhere that you feel that you're going to enjoy. I don't want to. I don't want to be hanging to myself or the club, do you know what I mean? Because when I do something, I'm 100%, mm. do you know what I mean? And I feel like if I just settle for something, it wouldn't be fair on me, it wouldn't be fair on the club that I signed for, do you know what I mean? And know that I feel like I've got a right to pick and choose who I want to go with. I just feel like at this stage in my, my life and my career, I'm just like, I just want I a bit But of you've still got so much to offer. Something that gives me that little year. buzz, do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. But. I don't know. know, even I thought, like, even last year, I thought, God, he's still playing and looks fit, looks agile, yeah, yeah. good, still good in the air. And I thought, what, what, why is nobody in there? Fitness wise, it's. I always think the Scottish fine. football teams that play out with the old firm that have a kind of a bigger centre for, but we're not talking, he's not he's no a me, he's not a target man, he's a target man, but can do a lot more other things. I think he'd be a perfect fit for quite a lot of the teams oh, outside. Man. Best jumper in the world, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you know the funniest thing is, see me do the jump, right, the jump tests, I'm shocking at it. Are you? I used to think you're taking the piss, jump properly and I'm like, I'm not. But what you've got is timing with your just feet. just timing, do you know what yeah, I mean? He's yeah, got yeah. timing how quick you move your feet, when to jump. Aye, that, I think that's what it is, because see, the fitness coach used to crack up with me. Oh, like, yeah. Take it seriously, I'm like, Would I, that I'm, be the standing I'm jump? trying to jump. Even like the standing jump, the one like the kind of one legged, like what I would do as I yeah. jumped to hit the ball, shocking at it. Uh -huh. I but then I would go and I would go and like. I've never seen you as a hit Feel like I could beat MD in there. Uh -huh. Remember going away with we your Scotland squad and they were trying to teach Cuthbert and Gary Kennedy hit the ball and they were like, right, Fletch, come and be the crash dummy. They didn't win one either, I don't know. No, no, no. Big mum's cracking up. <laughs> and they were bigger than you as well, mate. Aye, aye. Remember that game we played Piquet? We played uh, Spain, mate, 5-1. Was it the 5? PK scored four, he four headers. No, who was my, who, who was Martin, Martin though? Cuthbert uh, must have been Cuthbert. I think it was Cuthbert. Uh, I think it was a six-yard space. You I scored like that, that the six-yard space. I had the front post, I uh, had. You I like scored that, that day. We get pumped, man. Oh, we? my God, mate. That's, see what you're talking about. The like 9-0, that's how I felt playing Spain the first time, mate. But then we played them in the final when it was only 2-1. I was suspended. It's probably because I was the point. That we never won. No, that it was only 2-1. <laughs> Mate, if you were playing that final, we the one because we played against her. Me and Snoddy were so in the So he was got suspended, suspended in the, in the semi-final. Right. I get booked for diving. 
Did you? Aye. You have got that in your wee dive, is North, North. What is it then? When you just went to that World Cup thing, you didn't play the final. Oh, the Euros, suspended. the Euros, Euro final. We got all the way through the groups. Brilliant, beat Turkey in the semis. Didn't we did we? the Turan was playing, mate. Brilliant, wasn't it? Uh-huh. And then um, got to the final, mate. And we Bojan dinked Andy McNeil for about forty yards. So did he know? That's right. Oh, Matt, I played as well, mate. He was incredible. Matt, did that? See, just on like, last season, that's gone a wee bit. Yeah, but I, I uh-huh. think that's probably why I'm still no in any way to be honest with you. Because, like I said, I have had offers. But Mate, there was a wee stage when Goodwin first came in, it looked like he was going to turn it round. I know. Uh, do you know what killed us, I think? Remember that wee break we had? Aye. Yeah. He's won we two went three. No, we went three, three. Three on the bounce. So we had a wee break and with three games left after that. And we had momentum. And it was almost like everybody never had the momentum. Kind of got time to reset. Yeah. Where we kind of like, oh, we, we were Desperate for another choking game. for another game. And obviously, I'm not saying that's the main reason, but you know what? It's like momentum's a massive thing. And we just kind of. You kind of like, oh, there's no game at the weekend, so you kind of like chill out a wee bit, and then trying to get back up was quite tough. But he suffered with, with both breaks. Aberdeen sitting so third. He did with the break hat. ended up getting the sack. Then D United right. won his first three, got a break. Jim's a great guy, by the way. Is he like great good guy? Yeah, really good. Really good. Really good. Back up. I was actually quite. I loved my time there, by the way. Did you? Right? I had probably not even said that. Club mate, Brilliant, it was not honestly. I really, really enjoyed it. the boys. Were great. Staff were great. Jim, when he came in, was like, see. There was just a lot of factors for me not to stay. Like the championship wasn't a massive factor. I had a win and played there, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it was for them. Do you know what I mean? No, oh, only for Dundee United. For yeah, Dundee United, yeah, yeah. I had a win and played. It was just a lot of things like tours up the road, oh, tours yes. back, and I was just thinking like it's a lot of factors that don't really like. Do you know what I mean? I was getting home and I came up here for the family. Do you know what I mean? And this yeah, you done doing what you were doing down south anyway, travelling all the time. Mayor, yeah, mayor, I have never stayed that far away from my club before. Yeah. I'm always half an hour max, do you know what I mean? I it must be difficult when you're the age you are. Aye. You've got nothing to prove. So that desire to want to travel. Yeah. If you're a young boy, Aye. making it in the way, making it in the game, exactly. you're quite happy then, to travel two three then, hours. And then you're getting beat. Aye. And you're coming home. And you laugh. So basically, what you're saying is you want to sign somebody close to where you are. So let's figure that no, out. Oh, no, that's <laughs> You need to keep playing, mate. It'd be a travesty to retire. I know why, but... See, I had good, some good young players coming through, now. Aye, aye. Who do you like? I like McIntyre, I like McClellan. Yeah, Archie's a great player. Rory has got all the potential in the world. Do you know who reminds me of, like, shooting-wise, wee Griff? Is he, right? No, like, the same person or that, and everybody's different, but see, he's finishing. He hits it. He, like, knee back, left, just bang. Boom. Do you know what I mean? The way yeah. Griff used to hit the ball. Um, but just needs to realise that this is... <laughs> It's men's fo- football, it's yeah. real football, it's no, you're not playing under 16s, do you know what I mean? And he'll admit that he's got so much care on his head, but so did that 16, we all did, yeah. do you know what I mean? So see when he does stuff and boys are like, see Dan, I'm like, I can't really say much, I would yeah, do the same as he yeah. <laughs> But it's almost like me now saying, listen wee man, just straighten out a wee bit, do you know what I mean? Yeah. He listened though, I'll give him his due, see, he always was like that, you know, like, he was like that, we you all the time, like, listening to you, taking uh, it all in, aye. Good. Um, Father him's decent. Kai's a good wee player. Kai will give you hundred percent constantly. Yeah, yeah. He needs this year needs to make sure this is his like plays every week and one of their better players because he yeah, can change a game like that. Kai. Yeah. I watched them Friday night. They were good. Got a good they were good. Eh? Well. I watched Bad. the game. I watched think the they'll game. come back up. I didn't think so, but after watching them, I think Moult's a massive sign, isn't it? I uh, think that uh, after the problem. results at the weekend, the way that, that they went, like the firm got a good result. Morton got a really positive result at, eight, or, at home here. Well, Wraith come back to to. I think they're going to be a tough league. Yeah, Becky's a good signing, though. No? Who, sorry, mate? Declan Gallagher. Ah, great signing. Great signing for, great that, signing for, for that league. For that yeah. league, aye. 100%. Signing. What about coaching, mate? You thinking about it? Aye, aye. I probably, that's, if I don't carry on, I'll fully commit to just doing my badges. And I really enjoy seeing I was doing my beat. I didn't, I always thought I'll wait for the right time to do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because I don't think you should just go and, some people will, but I didn't want to just go and do it for the sake of it. I wanted to do it when I thought it was the right time. And I went and done it and see when I was, went up in the Orium for that week. Constantly doing it. Yeah. I was like, this is brilliant. See when it stopped, I was like, oh, I don't want this to stop. Uh-huh. I wanted to keep going. It was brilliant. Yeah. Um, so I, I will, like I said, I felt it was quite difficult when I was doing it when I was playing. I like to kind of, like I was saying, I like, when I'm doing something, time. I want to do it 100%. I would don't like to just like dab, dabble into something and come away and come away. I like to actually do something 100%. So if I do stop, I will try and like fully commit to something. Do you know would what it mean? be coaching or managing? What would you? I'd like to coach. I'd like to coach because I like seeing improvements. So see when I was for instance when I was at Stoke and that Michael was quite good when he would let Antonio. me teach, let me take like shooting drills with the boys and that. 
and it's good. You know, when you see, yeah, yeah. it's funny seeing, even though I was a player, I was still taking them and see when the boys were scoring. I was buzzing. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like that little buzz you get. Uh -huh. So, um, I would like to, but like I said, I'll just, I just take each day as it comes. What about Pundit now? Because you've been outstanding on this. <laughs> Where'd you do that? I don't know. I'm, even the day, I'm not going to lie, I was a wee bit nervous coming oh, in. Fuck. It's one of them though, do you know what I mean? When you're out your comfort zone. It's, it's not my easier com now that Slaney and Andy are here. Uh -huh. It's not my comfort zone. I'm just, even with golf, see, because I know I'm not amazing at it. Yeah. See when I'm on that, he'll say, see when I'm on that first tee, I'm still nervous. Are you, mate? Eh? Aye, but fuck, but I just, not that just amazing at it, but I just go and do it. It's just uh -huh. natural, isn't it? So I was... You mate, you're a regular on here, mate. I know. You might need to, mate. space. You can play for East Kilbride coach 20s and do this. Uh, you already said that to somebody else. <laughs> See, Peter, there's a cue, there's a I've offered it to Charlie McGrew. Charlie McGrew, Morelos. There's a cue. Fletch, you've been outstanding. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. Talk about it.